if you are going to appear in upcoming IMAT exam, I want you to watch this video full because I'm going to give you a strategy, a clue that if you adopt the strategy or the whole process, you are going to get your desired score. But keep this thing in mind that this is a little bit hard. As all people say that you have to practice 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 a lot that they say because as you know probably most of you that are watching will be non-eu probably like from india pakistan nepal bangladesh and most of you also will be eus but now let me tell you i is kind of international test so they say that if you will be mindlessly reading books 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 you will not get like from books the most out of it you will not be productive so they say not they say i'm saying that more those students who are just trying to read okay they are just reading books they are thinking that if we read book because reading looks like it is passive and you are gaining at the moment but like in the long run yet maybe tomorrow or maybe the day after tomorrow you will forget everything so it is said that you practice and now what you should be practicing first thing is past paper questions past paper questions are really really good so you are going to attempt all of the past paper quizzes but after that there are some specific question banks for IMAT and BMAT like question paper because IMAT and BMAT are similar uh, although the authorities has been changed but they are like exactly same as it were in the previous year when Cambridge was making so now let me tell you the strategy that you have to adopt is practice now let me tell you how i got this so from my amit accelerator students i got to know because i was making this amit style like questions for them the mock exams for them so most of them were solving okay they were attempting but they were not submitting those mock exams because they were thinking they are attempting wrong so if they did that they will lose marks and that would be shameful so they were not doing that now let me tell you if you have got this kind of mindset or you are thinking that if you are going to lose marks and that would be shameful literally believe this thing if you are not going to attempt it wrong then how you can know what is the correct version of it because if you are not going to mis make mistakes how you are going to learn from your mistake so that's why questions are recommended recommended you should be attempting questions and questions and this thing is very common for students that you should be reading one time you are covering syllabus I, I suggest you as i have got a complete process for you how you should be preparing what like first step second step all the day what you need to follow so that will be in video description you can like read it and you can do that but what happens is that most students just spend ages on reading but they don't do practice once they are doing like they do practice most of us have got this kind of mindset they are going to like practice but the moment practice is hard because you are retrieving your concepts are being retrieved your all the information is being retrieved and you will attempt it wrong that will be time taking you will learn new things you will have to like mold and fold then you will come to uh, the uh, real solution you will have to like find it on the internet and in different communities and different books so that was like kind of hard thing but what happens you will be like practicing for 30 minutes maybe a hundred maybe hour or maybe one and a half hour but then you will say oh man i'm like uh, solving it wrong i should switch back to books in the like in that specific time in one hour or one and a half hour i can read a full chapter of biology chemistry so that's like that looks so good that looks so good at the moment but believe me that that is passive that is easier to do those work that are easier to do those are not going to get you higher results keep this thing in mind okay so that's why i'm saying if for example you have got pretty these questions and you are not solving them because you know that is like time consuming and uh, you will spend time but you will not come up to a good solution because most students okay literally most students do this thing from dna the questions are all must question in i'm at exam you will see questions from dna then there is going to be molecular genetics and uh, inheritance i like i have categorized those chapters into inheritance and molecular genetics from these two chapters there are four to five questions confirmed in every year of i'm at so that's the thing and here you have got pedigrees then there is transcription and translation then there is uh, dna replication and then there are tons of other mental laws and then there are some pedigrees analysis and you have to like do some sex link inheritance and then there is uh, the patterns of diseases is if it's actually resistive or it's actually dominance or y linked or maybe any so autosomal whatever the diseases are those pedigrees are important and what happens when you are not solving it you will not get get the kind of idea in your head and when you will be solving real time i exam you will regret at that time hey buddy hey buddy i wish i would have solved it why you did not solve oh i have seen this type of thing but it, it isn't like i have said i i why i should not do that so that's the thing i don't want you to uh, follow that so, so that's the thing i don't want you to do that 
do no regret so that's why just keep this thing in mind open your past paper quizzes then there are going to be your bmat question banks tons of present and then bmat past papers a very very great source just try to solve each and everything for bmat uh, this section 2 is just important in it heavy biology chemistry physics and math maths will be there so you just have to solve there will be just 27 questions okay 27 questions in each section of bmat so you have to like solve those once you are done and i don't want you to solve that okay the way i always recommend is that you are going to solve solve with solve i mean you are going to properly get reasoning why what is the like complete overview behind this question what was the chapter from where it taken what was the like how i got like understanding of statement you must write something on your notebook and then yet there must be something you get out of it okay at the end of solving that question you must get something out of it that's super super helpful because if you are solving question and you are not getting anything out of it that's so useless but believe me if you guys are going to solve question the way i'm saying like solve them a real solve mean you are going to uh, attempt those questions on your notebook because chemistry questions are complete solution based as you guys have to do for stoichiometry and then there is molarity from solutions and then there are uh, other things in chemistry that you have to like limiting reagent on all those things percentage yield so you have to calculate them and that takes like solutions and one thing that is important nobody will be doing that once you are solving questions keep this thing in mind you are managing your time because in amat you are allowed 1.6 minute for each question just make sure that you are attempting one question in 1.6 minute or maybe higher because biology is easier and you can do it 1.5 or 1.4 minute because usually the questions are lengthy statements are lengthy so it takes time to do them but well chemistry one chemistry questions are like solution based so they will be taking time but when it comes to maths Uh, the uh, maths and then there will be physics those are completely solution based and those are numerical problems so you, they will be taking so much time ages and that's why i want you to like do this thing uh, you know maybe some students will be thinking oh, okay what are he is saying whatever it is saying uh, i am good i am like great but when once you will come out of the examination hall you will understand this thing because there are 100 minutes and they are very very less literally yeah, this i don't know how you are uh, not understanding but uh, this is the like a pre thing that i want you to uh, like be prepared before getting into the real step so if you can follow this i am going to like guarantee you you are going to get whatever you want and now to understand how you are going to solve questions so i have got asked in my past paper questions for biology chemistry and logical reasoning the i have explained how you should be solving what is the way to approach this concept how you should be doing everything there are like 35 minutes and 40 minute videos you can like hop into video description or you can just check out my playlist there will be i'm at past paper practice questions so that would be super super great i can believe and i am at 2023 logical reasoning questions i have like made a uh, video so you can watch that and that will be very very great for you so i hope you guys got a little bit value out of it i'm again saying do set your direction don't do passive reading instead focus on more active learning try to solve questions that's the way you will be learning most of the things so i hope that was like that was a little bit great so thanks for watching see you in next video till bye bye so do check this video out okay the complete playlist for practice questions that will be super grateful and in the video description you can find the process link so you can read that and there will be a picture also so you can just hop on to that point and you can follow that procedure i will guarantee you you are going to be very very great in your amat so see you in next video till bye bye